By now, the concept of startup must be clear to all of you. A kind of new company established by a group of people who are interested in finding solution to a particular business problem. Most of them use technology, but not all of them use technology. And they grow in a very exponential rate if they become successful. Well, when you look at the unique characteristic of startup, indeed, we understand that not all new forms of company are considered startups. Companies that have limited resources or growth potential in terms of their customer base, revenue and product may not be seen as startups. For instance, a new restaurant, a dry cleaner, or a professional service firm aren't likely to become startups or to be called startups. Although there's no single standard for what defines a startup company, the business community recognizes there is a special uh, kind of um, young company and a particular with um, specific culture that exists within startup. And we are going to explore this as part of the understanding of sustainability as part of strategy for startup. Well, the startup mindset features several characteristics and it's worth discussing. For example, those who come with startup mindsets always offer commitment to innovation and willingness to take risks and make decisions quickly. This atmosphere attracts potential workers who seek out that environment. The free form of management and the very, very flat kind of organization whereby you don't have to go through the hierarchy of the organization to become successful. The startup culture can also be considered egalitarian, with workers at all levels pulling together. The workspace frequently reinforces that kind of view with open areas where leaders and staff work outside or work side by side or work together in a co-working space. However, father and their chosen executives do remain in charge and often serve as the ambassador of the brand, the products, or the startup itself once they become successful. Okay, so that's the nature that enhances flexibility. When it comes to the perception of startups, startups are often around for their potential to disrupt industries and introduce new processes and products or services to market as well as for the innovative spirit. Well, they're almost a mythical to hold on the um, kind of um, modern country's imagination as they embody that not, the, not anyone can start with the new fresh idea, but if you try hard, you can do it, then you become rich and then you can expand it to become another startup, right? So um, there are quite a number of uh, issues that startup make it to the modern economy and it becomes a kind of new forms of um, business activities. Of course, when you talk about hyper-competitiveness, impulsivity, and exclusionary behavior among uh, some startup partners or potential stakeholders, that can be another issue that we cannot take that for granted. Okay, so um, with this kind of nature, startup need to consider many aspects, including sustainability as part of the nature. You know, um, when companies look at this uh, concept of strategy and sustainability as part of strategy, they might look at what in it for me. I don't want to um, in, um, spend a lot of resources on this issue. Well, they can't avoid it, right? They can't run away from this. Even though you might say this day we, we try to control behavior of company uh, and um, they, they might not be able to um, control their own resources and action. Startup with the smaller and more flexible sites, they can do much more with sustainability. Startup sustainability to me is when that startup does business in an eco-friendly and understanding of social issues. At the same time, they adopt transparency and good governance into the system. This means everything from recycling to spreading the words in um, environmental issues, promoting human rights as part of the supply chain, and a good um, policy in the management can be considered sustainable startup. And of course, many startups now include sustainability in many aspects into their operation. 
okay? Um, that is important for them because um, this can help the company stand for, keep the business on the right track. And at the same time, they can communicate their sustainability action and policy to the public. Most startup and companies do make an effort to be sustainable, but to truly be eco-friendly, that kind of company, you need to make a special effort to respect all of the aspects of having an eco-friendly company or understanding of society issues. This is really important element of being a startup that concern sustainability. For one, you have to take good care of nature and people and also stakeholder. There are so many other aspects that we have to look at. It may not be easy for you to look at sustainability as part of startup because you may not, may not have that resources. Then you might give up, but come on, think of this. You are young in terms of establishment. You are full of resources as support from the world outside business and the world within business. And of course, you understand technology and the need of customer. So in a nutshell, if you as the startup um, uh, establishment person or creator, you can really consider the practice of sustainable business from day one of your establishment.